Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to use a smart notebook template that I've created to make a category sort interactive activity. Okay, and this can be downloaded uh, here. When you open the uh, category sort template, it'll look like this. It'll have three slides, the first of which has nothing to do with the category sort. It's just somewhere where you can insert your own heading by clicking a few times and typing in your heading and some introductory or instructional text. The second slide is the actual template slide which you will use to create your own activity and the third is an example so let's have a look at the example okay this is a category sort game I've made up with the categories fruit and vegetables so once the student clicks on this slide or if you're doing it on the white the interactive whiteboard you simply move your mouse down to any of these pictures at the bottom and drag them to where you think they belong so we might get a few right here these are all obviously uh, fruit okay and we might deliberately get some wrong so obviously a pear is a fruit but we'll put it over in this box here okay and so let's get most of these right too Okay, and we might get another one wrong by putting the carrot in the fruit section. Then, when you've finished, you click on the check button and you get a little tick next to all of the ones that are right and a little cross next to all of the ones that are wrong. Okay, and reset. The other thing I might quickly show you is that you can very simply add a solve button okay so I'll show you that again just click in the edit button and click where it says solve button and then when you play it you can see this solve button here okay and if you click that it actually does it for you so you can choose whether you want that or not okay so let's go to slide 2 and let's see how we can make something similar to that fruit and vegetables uh, sorting activity ourselves. First thing you do, click on the edit button. Okay, and you'll see here it's got space for 16 images, and you choose how many images you want. I think in that example we had eight, and you choose how many columns you want three columns or two we just want two fruit and vegetables but you know if you're doing if you're a science teacher you're making something up on solids liquids and gases and you want to put in you know photos of coke bottles for you know or coke for liquids and then you know uh, a table for solid and you know something like that you might choose three columns that's just one example all right so our column one label is going to be fruit our column 2 label is going to be vegetables. Now, it's set up so we've got four examples of fruit and four examples of vegetables. But if you wanted, you know, five fruits and only three vegetables, you can simply change any one that you like. Okay, now, the great thing about this software is that you can simply just drag your pictures into these boxes. So what we're going to do is we're going to restore this window so it takes up half our screen. Okay. And then I'm going to find the folder which has my pictures in it. Here I've got a folder called Fruit and Veg. Now I already got these pictures off the internet, went to Google Images okay and now I simply drag the, each picture to where it belongs so you can see box one is for fruit so I'm going to drag the apple over that box and you'll see it turns a faint yellow and when I let it go the apple appears in that box now the next box is in the veg vegetables category so I'll grab this broccoli 
and simply drag that over there and again you can see hopefully you can see under there it's turned to faint yellow when I let go the broccoli appears there okay I'll pause the video while I drag the the rest of the fruit and vegetables across because it's just pretty repetitive and now you can see I've done all eight okay I'll just maximize this window again so that's pretty much finished now I might say I don't want this solve button and I might click that there's a password here and I'll type in a password that I remember okay click this password uh, box and then that way when a student opens this slide they can't go and change it themselves they need to know the password in order to change it so all they're left to do is actually complete the activity the way that we did before by dragging the fruit and the vegetables into the appropriate boxes and when they're finished checking their answer okay uh, that's it for this video hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you can make use of your template thank you